Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mug and Play. I am Nick today. We are not playing a game. We are showing off something... Let's call it interesting, to, to say the least. This is an artifact I found. I unearthed this because I was wondering if it still existed out there. I remembered it from a bajillion years ago. Not really a bajillion. It's more like nine. I found a video of myself from 2010. This is, now keep in mind, the YouTube channel started in 2016. I started streaming and like, taking it seriously last year. And so this predates everything Mug and Play, and pretty sure it predates a lot of other projects that I've, that I've done too. This is a thing I did for a video class in college, and the video is called Anger Management. And it was basically a final project, and I'm going to show it to you in its entirety. And then after that, we're going to watch it again and just kind of give a breakdown and uh, give you my personal thoughts on things. But fair warning, this is pre-beard Nico. I had no beard, I had a goatee, and I had sideburns, and that's it. So we're gonna watch this video in its entirety. It is cringeworthy, but I feel comfortable sharing it with all of you uh, for some reason. So here it is. Anger management. <sighs> uh, hey man, what's wrong? What's wrong? The world! That's what's fucking wrong! Okay, okay dude, calm down. I think you have an eggnog problem. If you want to take that back right now, I'm gonna throw mini Snickers at you until I feel better. Honey, you got a problem, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna fix it, and I'll have a seat. Here, I'll kill zombies. All too often, people get frustrated with the stresses of everyday life. They get angry and do things like name-calling and throw power tools at each other. Playing games that are violent or aggressive allow a person to get out their pent-up anger in a safe, harmless fashion. Feel better? A little, but now I hate the living and the living impaired. Then you should okay. make an I hate video. An I hate video? What the hell is that? It's when you list off all the things you can't stand where your rear cam records it. It sounds simple, but it helps. <sighs> Alright then, let's see. I hate it when people post song lyrics as their Facebook says, especially if the song sucks. I hate Insane Clown Posse. I hate people who try to tell me Insane Clown Posse isn't that bad. They are. I hate people who look at me like I'm the Antichrist because I occasionally shop at Walmart. I hate everyone on Jersey Shore. I hate everyone who thinks that Jersey Shore is a decent show. I hate Christmas. I hate Christmas music. I hate answering the question, what do you do? I hate people who blame everything on the corporations. I hate the font Comic Sans. I hate that Chad keeps eating my Snickers bars. Sorry. I hate people who incessantly like their own Facebook status. I hate the Grammys. I hate all award shows, actually. I hate zombies. I hate Ann Coulter. I hate Carlos Mencia. I hate Nickelback. I hate customers at Target that ask me, Can you check in the back? I hate anyone who takes this video too seriously. Mm, that's enough of that. How are you feeling? I'm not really mad anymore, but I'm still feeling a little frustrated. I think you need a more constructive outlet. I think we need to rock out and bust a funky fresh beat. Music is another great way to reduce stress, whether you're just fooling around or making the next big hit. Chad, I feel so much better. Thanks, man. Anytime, Rosella. Uh, yeah! <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? 
That was something, to say the least. And uh, it features my buddy Chad, who is who is in this, as, as you could tell. So let's go through this and and watch it uh, together, and I'll give you my thoughts on on things. So here here we go. So this was this is by the way our uh, our my my logo because Chad and I were going to start a, a a blog, and this blog turned into a web comic, which went by the same name, and then that same name. Uh, for those of you who are diehard fans, know that this is the this was the channel name before I settled on Mug and Play. So here we go. So here's here's it opens up with uh, Chad playing video games and me coming in all mad. Oh god, that horrible face and a Poka Walker. Hey, that man, give, should wrong? give you an idea of how old this what's is. What's wrong? The world. That's what's fucking wrong. That's that's right. Here I'm gonna pause it right there. What's wrong? The world. That's what's fucking wrong. Keep in mind this was a class. This is a thing for a class, and my first line, my first spoken words have a swear in them, which didn't hurt my grade, but at the same time, there are people that are like, oh, you did this for school, how could you do such a thing? Because most people are like, this is my daily routine, and I go to school, and I come home, and then I go to work, and I come home. And that was, that was a lot of the videos. I wanted to do a skit. It was mostly to show off editing skills, but... Uh yeah. Young younger Nico, you got a lot to learn about the world. It's not what what's wrong. It's your attitude that's wrong. Okay, dude, calm down. I think you have an ego problem. If you want to take that back. <laughs> Top tier right acting now, by by the way on both of our parts. I mean, you got a problem. And I'm gonna I'm gonna like he doesn't see me winding up to throw these th and I was starting to throw those things really fucking hard at the end. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like that. I'm gonna fix it. And I'll have a seat. <laughs> Also, I like that right here is an awkward shimmy of us trying to get around each other. But here. oh, I gotta get in the shot now. I'll kill zombies. Ah, oh, goodness! Watching this often, is people get frustrated with the stresses of everyday life. Just the worst. They get angry and do things like name calling and throw power tools at each other. Playing games. I thought that, that I thought that, I thought that was really wacky dialogue, like name calling and throwing power tools. A little. But now I hate the living and the living impaired. And you should okay. make an I hate video. Also, by the way, I need to pause this. The making, uh, saying, saying the phrase the living impaired, that is an obscure Simpsons reference, so I am obligated to put the thing up on the bottom of the screen saying obscure Simpsons reference. So there you go. And I hate video. Also, the I hate video that. thing was... List off, off was, uh, an an idea video from, video. It was an idea from... It was an idea from... Gosh, Tosh.0. That's so because that, there was that was the popular funny show at the time. I don't know if it's still in the air. If it is, then is Tosh.0 still on the air? Here are some results. Oh God, there are recent episodes. This is still going on. Wow, bravo, bravo to you, Daniel Tosh. Way to good job milking the same cow for ten years. And records it. It sounds simple, but it helps. But yeah, and and let and I'll just give a quick yes or no on a right, lot of these things I claim to hate in the video. I hate it when people post song lyrics as their Facebook says, especially if the song sucks. Yeah, kind of. I hate insane clown posse. Yep. I hate people who try to tell me insane clown posse isn't that bad. They are. To me, to their own. I hate people who look at me like I'm the Antichrist because I occasionally shop at Walmart. Doesn't happen anymore. Everyone shops at Walmart. Don't worry about it. Just, just. Dress like you're leaving the house. That's all I ask. I hate everyone on Jersey Shore. Still true. I hate everyone who thinks that Jersey Shore is a decent show. It's a terrible show. I hate Christmas. I, I hate don't hate Christmas as much anymore. I hated it back then because I was broke all the time and I could not afford presents for everyone. And that made my depression way worse. And it's only recently gotten better. I don't hate Christmas anymore. I do hate how it makes people act sometimes. But overall, I I enjoy it now. It's it's fun. I hate winter, is what it is. I hate Christmas music. I, I don't hate, hate Christmas music fun. as much. There's just a lot of it. And if you have to work in retail or the service industry, you get to listen to all of it. What do you do? And there's another thing. I hate the question, what do you do? Probably because at that time, what I was doing was not much. And now I'm doing a little bit more. Uh, and at least now I know how to bullshit my way through that question. I've bu I've buffed my charisma stat. Fake it till you make it. That's the, the lesson I am still learning to this day. I hate people who blame everything on the corporations. 
I don't hate it anymore. It's just kind of annoying. I hate the font comic Sam. Still do. I hate that Chad keeps eating my Snickers bars. That was just for fun. I hate people who incessantly like their own Facebook status. I hate the kind of like this. I hate all award shows actually. That's still true. I think they're I think they're just there to sell ad space, and I I don't need to see celebrities dressing up. They can afford it. I know. I believe them. I hate zombies. I I, hate I don't Walter. hate zombies. I hate Carlos. I hate, do we hate I hate yep. Nickelback. Yep. I hate eh. customers at Target that ask me. Can you check in the back? On, uh, in retrospect, I did not hate when customers would ask me if I could check in the back because you were basically giving me permission to just kind of dick around for two minutes. So I'll go back there, check my phone, then look for what they're looking for, come back, and either I have it or I don't. So I had a lot of pent up anger when I was when I was in, when I was when I was younger. I hate anyone who takes this video too seriously. There's the kicker. That's not that. How are you feeling? Well, I'm not really mad anymore. Mm -hmm. but I'm still feeling a little frustrated. Okay. I think you need a more constructive outlet. This is good advice. Walk out and bust a funky fresh beat. Yes. I wish I still had that bass, by the way. I sold it and I regret it. Ew, I'm wearing a watch. Or making the next big hit. Yeah. Also, this part. So, like, Chad was trying so hard to get me to laugh, and we'll do a zoom in on my face. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. Look at me holding it in, but barely. Wow, like, right when that cut, cut, I laughed. Thanks, man. Anytime, Freeze so, frame. Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Wow. It's, uh, it's so embarrassing and so cringy, but it's so funny at the same time, because it's like... It's it does it feels like I'm basically a completely different person from who that was because it's like after that class ended I didn't do any video editing anything for years up until I started the YouTube channel so it was cool to see this thing from like almost like a past life it was so far back that it's like I I still have you know some of the mannerisms from from back then you know some things are just with you forever but it's weird to look back on that and think of like where my life was at uh and what i what i considered to be funny or what i because i at the time i considered this was the best edited thing i've ever come up with and i watch it now and i'm thinking i could change that 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 i could add this i could leave that i could have cut this earlier i could have done so many things differently but at the time i thought it was king shit for this also when with when this was showed to the class i remember the audible gasps when I got to the part where I said, I hate Christmas. And even though I, I don't hate Christmas, eliciting a reaction like that, it kind of sustained me at the time. And I kind of, it kind of made me feel, it made me feel good because for one, it made me feel like people were listening to the video and just like, how could you say you hate Christmas? And it was just like, it's like, yes, yes, I got it. I got, I got it. I got a reaction out of people, but I don't know. But it also gave me uh, some perspective on the fact that it's like, I'm going to look at the stuff I'm making now in not eight or nine years, 10 years and think, wow, I could have done all these things differently when now I'm just like, this is the best edited thing I've ever come up with. Or this is the coolest thing I've done. And I'll look back on that in 10 years and I'm just be like, wow, you were a child and you were doing childish things and editing in childish ways. So I guess... You know, I guess the the takeaway from this is like it was a reminder of how far I've come, um, and it was also kind of funny to find it again. I got I got nostalgic, but at the same time, I'm like, this isn't who I am anymore. But it kind of it's it's who I was, and I'm looking back on it on who I am now. It makes me kind of wonder who I'm going to be in eight or nine years. So maybe we'll make that a conversation for the comments section. But this is this is just something I had to show you. Um, and it was just absolutely ridiculous. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so much for, for watching it with me. If you like this episode, you should poke that like button right in the eye. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought, A, of this video. And B, you know, what do you think you're going to be like? Where do you see yourself in, in, ten, in 10 years? Um, aside from celebrating the 10-year anniversary of asking me this question. For those of you who get that reference. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you should hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you know all that stuff. Check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash where I play games live and not things from forever ago. 
and uh, check out the Discord while you're at it. It's pretty cool. Put a link to that in the description too. But thanks so much. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.